talking about the channel so my mother would tell me to sneeze. Yes, that's right, Xander. It's been quite a long time since we had some warm weather. This cold weather's been going on since the beginning of the winter. It's lasted until May. If average temperature this week will be 124 or lower 15 degrees. Now that's some chilly weather there. Because of all this cold weather, most of the birds have started migrating south, especially the morning doves. Apparently all the cold weather has limited their resources and the birds there's no op other option but to move south. Well that's all the time we've got for today, folks. We'll see you next time when the interview from our guest ornithologist, Frank Miller from Cornell University, to give us a report on the morning doves and a mass migration south. Hello, and welcome back to Channel 7 News, where we give you the news, and you give us the views. Like we promised last time, we're going to interview our guest ornithologist, Frank Miller. So Frank, where are all these morning doves headed? Well, a couple of days ago, satellite cameras caught footage of the morning doves departing from West Virginia. And later that day, they landed in Orlando, Florida, and they seemed to behave differently from normal. Our study said that they've adapted to the surroundings because of the lack of seeds in the area. The morning doves have learned to snatch us from the seed and eat them because of this, their feet have started to grow bigger and sharper to make them easier for them to hunt fish. And that's quite an interesting story there, Frank. So that's all the time we've got today, today folks. And thanks for watching. We'll continue our story with Frank Miller on Channel 7 News. Hello and welcome back to Channel 7 News, where we give the news and you give us the views. Today we're going to continue our story with guest ornithologist, Frank Miller. So Frank, what information do we have in the mass migration today? Last time the morning dove landed in Orlando, Florida. And a day ago, our satellites picked up a footage of the group migrating even more south. And last night they have landed in Puerto Rico. Because of Puerto Rico is an island, they get a lot of fish, which is good. It offers more food for the morning ducks. But the morning ducks beak has started to become more hooked and sharp. This is because the morning ducks have learned to catch bigger and stronger fish. And their hooked beaks help them tear the fish apart, which makes it easier for them. To tear, to tear and eat the fish. Well, that's the end of this part of the story. And we'll turn to with more information on the mass migration. Frank Miller. See you next time on Channel 7 News. Welcome back to Channel 7 News, where you give us the news and you give us the views. Today we're going to pick up the story with the guest ornithologist, Frank Miller, on the mass migration from the fourth destination, where we left off last time. Yes, that's right, Mason. Today we have some pretty interesting news on mass migration. About three days ago, satellite cameras picked up the group shifting east and changing their path from south to east. Apparently, they're heading for Africa. And one day later, they landed in Pearl Harbor to rest on a big journey across the Pacific. It took them about three days before they could reach France, which is about 3,000 miles from Puerto Rico, to France. The wingspan rapidly grew, grew during the trip across the Pacific due to, due to the powerful winds that the birds had to face. Well, now that's a big story. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have today. But stay tuned for more information on the migration with Frank Miller next time on Channel 7 News. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Channel 7 News, where we give the news and you give us the views. Today we're continuing the story with guest ornithologist Frank Miller. So Frank, where did we last pick up on the story? Last time a fellow bird landed in Prey, and six days ago, a satellite camera caught footage of the birds departing. Apparently, they're heading into Africa. They landed in Ghana two days ago. The distance between Prey and Ghana is, is about 6,000 miles, and the birds had to fly four days straight. When they landed in Ghana, they started behaving in a different way. They put the dragging feet to use and learned how to pick up snakes and strangle them. This is good because there aren't many fish in Africa. 
Now that's quite a unique story there, Frank. But that's all the time we have today, folks. Stay tuned for more information with Frank Miller from Channel 7 News. Welcome back to Channel 7 News, where we give the news and you give us the views. Today, we're going back with more information on the migration with gastroenterologist Frank Miller. So Frank, what do we have today? Today may, may be the last day of the migration because we believe the flock has reached their final destination in Nigeria. One week ago, our satellite cameras took pictures of the flock traveling southeast from Ghana to Nigeria. It took them six days of flying straight, and they traveled about 8,000 miles from Ghana to Nigeria. After reaching Nigeria, it was decided that the new morning dove would be renamed the Morning Eagle because it looks and behaves like an eagle. Well, that's, a, that's quite a story there. But unfortunately, that's all the time we have today. We hope to do more work with you and your inter and interviews, but that's all for today. Stay tuned for more news and exciting stories and interviews on Channel 7 News.